Hello, Junanda. Good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you tonight? Good evening. Fine, teacher. Okay, that's excellent. How was your day? Um, and busy. It was a busy day. Okay, excellent. Yesterday we were talking about, do you remember? Um, yes. What was yesterday topic? Um, maybe. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no problem. We are we have an exercise to remember yesterday's okay. topic. Yesterday we were yes. talking about the, uh, let's see, frequency adverbs. Do you remember okay. some of them? Usually, always. <laughs> yes, we have usually, always, sometimes, hardly ever, never. And we study the question, how often? How often I remember you... teach. <laughs> ah, now I remember it. <laughs> it's okay. Hello, Suleima. Welcome to the class. And Lorena Patricia. Hello, Lorena. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Okay, how often do you do exercise, Yolanda? How often do you do exercise? Um, I, 15 minutes, I, uh, 50 minutes uh, every day. Ah, okay, that's excellent. Do you play any sport? Um, sometimes. Sometimes, which one do you like soccer? And uh, no, uh, I play basketball. Ah, okay, it's an interesting game basketball. Hello, with my Rolando. Son. Oh, with your son. Good evening, oh. teacher. How old is your son? Excuse me, Yolanda. Teacher. Yolanda, how old is your son? And uh, my son, oh, uh, 14 years old. Oh, he is 14 years old. Oh, very good. Uh, hello, Rolando. Welcome to the class. How are you tonight? I'm fine. Okay, that's excellent. How was your day? How was your day? Uh, very hard. <laughs> it was very hard. Okay. It was very busy. Hello, Juan. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Uh, Jacqueline Lourdes, welcome. Giselle, welcome to the class. And Ruben, Juan, welcome to the class. How are you tonight? I hope you are good tonight. Today is the end of May, right? Tomorrow we are going to start with mom. We are going to start. What's the name of the month, the next month? What's the name? Can you listen to me, guys? June, and thank you, Juan. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Okay, uh, yesterday topic was the frequency adverbs, right? Do you remember some of them? Do you remember some frequency adverbs? Yes. 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 Okay, can you mention some of them, please? Hardly ever. Never, always. Hardly ever, always, yes. Just give me a second. I'm going to answer here. Chat says, mm. 
Uh, which other one do you remember? Which other one do you remember? Hardly ever. What's the meaning of sometimes, for example? Do you remember? Sometimes, what the meaning of that frequency adverb? Usually. Usually is one, yes. So let's start for you to remember we're going to have an exercise. I'm going to share with you the next presentation. And also you are going to see the topic that we are going to study tonight. Here we go. Let's see. I'm sharing with you my screen. Let me know, please, if you can see it. Can you already see it? Me confirma si pueden ver la presentación, please. Yes. Yes. Okay, this is the topic for tonight. Equation with how and short answer. But before to go to this topic, we are going to have an exercise to remember the frequency adverse and the equation how often and also do you ever. Second, this is the lesson objective for tonight. Let's read it. Second. What's happening with this? And by the end of this session, you will learn how to ask and answer questions using how. That is the lesson objective for tonight. And let's start with this last class review. So look at this question. Do you ever play volleyball? Any volunteer to answer this question tonight? I never play volleyball. Thank you so much. I never play volleyball. Any other answer? Do you ever play volleyball? ¿Alguna vez juega volleyball? I usually play volleyball on Sunday. Thank you so much. Let's see the next question. Do you ever play chess? Do you ever play chess? You say, I never play chess. I often play chess. I sometimes play chess. I usually play chess. So I have an answer here on the chat. What mean chess? Oh, it's ajedrez. Do you ever play chess? ¿Alguna vez juega ajedrez? Anyone here to answer this question? I never play chess. Thank you so much. Let's see the next question here. Do you usually work on weekends? Do you usually work on weekends? I sometimes work on weekend. Thank you, Yolanda. I sometimes work on weekend. Okay, the next question. Do you always watch the news? Any volunteer to answer this question? Do you always watch the news? I always watch the news. Thank you so much. Let's do next. How often do you wash your car? Any volunteer to answer this question? Okay. 
Any volunteer tonight? How often do you wash your car? Never wash my car. <laughs> I never wash my car. Okay, let's see how often do you do yoga? How often do you do yoga? I never do, do, do yoga. Thank you so much. I never do yoga. How often do you buy shoes? How often do you wash? Uh, sorry, how often do you buy shoes? I usually buy shoes. Thank you so much. I usually buy shoes. In the last one, how often do you speak in English? Uh, sorry, this is a mistake here. English in this work. I'm sorry for that. How often do you speak in English? I sometimes speak in English. Okay, thank you so much. So to answer this question, we need to use sometimes expression like every day, eh, every Saturday, twice a week, once a month, and also the frequency adverb, which are always, usually, often, sometimes, hardly ever, and never. So let's start with tonight's topics, and we are going to study question with how, and also short answer. So look at this. Look at this question. How often do you work out? And we can answer in this way. Every day, twice a week, not very often. Do you know what is the meaning of workout? What's the meaning of this workout? Do you have an idea? The meaning in English is a session training, right? It's a session training, una sesión de entrenamiento. So how often do you work out? Con qué frecuencia se entrena? So you can answer every day, twice a week, not very often. Now let's see the second one. How long do you spend at the gym? How long do you spend at the gym? This question is for a duration, right? ¿Cuánto tiempo gasta en el gimnasio? So you answer in this way, 30 minutes a day, two hours a week, about an hour on weekends. Let's go with the next two questions that we're going to study tonight. How well? How well do you play tennis? How good are you at sports? The first one you can use pretty well, about average, and not very well to answer this question. How good are you at the sports? You can use this answer for this question. Pretty good, okay, and not so good. Let's listen. Let's listen to these examples. Questions with how. Short answers. Let me know, please, if you can listen. Can you listen the audio? Can you confirm if you can listen the audio, please? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, I can listen. Okay, thank you so much. Let's listen How? then. Short answers. How often do you work out? Every day. Twice a week. Not very often. How long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes. Okay, I'm sorry for that. 30 minutes a day. Two hours a week. About an hour on weekends. How well do you play tennis? Pretty well. About average. Not very well. How good are you at sports? Pretty good. Okay. Not so good. Okay, let's see. Can you please answer with your own information? Let's start with Ruben. How often do you work out, Ruben? Every day, twice a week, or not very often? Hello, Ruben. Can you help me answering this question? How often do you work out? Every day. 
Okay, thank you. Let's go right. with Xiomara Alejandra. How often do you work out? Hello, Xiomara. Then let's go with Juan. Juan Francisco, how often do you work out? Um, 25 million on the week. Okay, thank you. 25 minutes on the week. Okay, now let's see the next question. How long do you spend at the gym? How long do you spend at the gym? Cuánto tiempo pasa en el gimnasio? Cuánto tiempo gasta en el gimnasio? Let's see, Stephanie, how long do you spend at the gym? 30 minutes, two hours, about an hour on weekends. Hi, I'm not going to the gym. Ah, okay, excellent. So you say, I don't go to the gym. Very good. So Alejandro Contreras, how long do you spend at the gym? Hello, Alejandro, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Uh, La disculpa del caso, me voy conectando. Ahorita me vengo sentando. Ah, ok, ok, no problem. Welcome to the class. Y okay. Jacqueline Lourdes, do you go to the gym? Do you go to the gym, Jacqueline? Hello, I don't go to the gym. Ah, ok, that's perfect. Thank you. So now let's see, the next two questions are about performance. It's like, ¿qué tan bueno eres en algo? Let's see, for example, how well do you play tennis? ¿Qué tan bien juegas tennis? And then you say, pretty well, bastante bien, about average, más o menos bien, ¿verdad? and not very well, no muy bien. How good is the other option? Always asking uh, for a performance. Right? Que también hace alguna actividad. How good are you at sports? And you can answer pretty good. Okay. And not so good. So let's see how well do you play tennis, Rolando? How well do you play tennis? Very well. Okay, excellent. Uh, how well do you play tennis? Lorena Patricia. Pretty well, about average, or not very well. Not very well, teacher. Thank you so much for your answer. How good are you at sports in general? How good are you at sports, Juan Francisco? I'm not so good. Okay, no, so good. Thank you. Let's see how good are you at the sport, Rosael Barrivera? Not so good. Not so good. Okay, let's see the next conversation in the next. I hardly ever exercise. Questions with how. You're really. In the next conversation, we are going to find some examples of these phrases. So let's listen. Let's listen this conversation, please. I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you great exercise? Shape, Keith. Thanks. I lift weights I guess every I'm day. A real I go jogging once a week. I play soccer twice a month. I swim about three times a year. I don't know. Okay, here we go. Let me know, please, if you can a listen. Real fitness freak. Can you listen? Yes. Yes. Thank you. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh. Do you want to play sometime? Uh... How well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. 
Do you have any question about vocabulary in this small conversation? Any new word? What is few? Freak, fitness freak. No, a few tips. Oh, a few tips. I'll give you a few tips. Te daré unos, sí, unos pocos consejos, ¿verdad? I give you a few tips. Algunos consejos para no, jugar no. bien. O recomendaciones. Tips. Any other question? What's the meaning of fitness freak? Any idea? Fitness freak. Fitness freak. Como si no soy tan bueno en eso, no sé. Um, actually, no, right? Fitness free is like someone who is obsessed with exercise or with be fit, right? Alguien que está obsesionado con estar siempre en forma. That is fitness freak. Do you have any other question about vocabulary in this? So, Ruth says you are in great shape, okay? Things, I guess I am a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis, that sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometimes? Mm, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem, I'll give you a few tips. I need to volunteer to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to practice tonight? Any volunteer to practice in this small conversation? Thank you, Rolando. Rolando and let's see. Okay. Yes. I have a question. Tell me, what is your uh, question? Uh, what's the meaning and the twist a week? Twice a week. Twice it's a twice. week. Dos veces, twice a week. Twice. Dos veces en la semana, twice a week. Dos veces en and, la semana. And. Okay, so let's start with Rolando and Giselle, please. Giselle, you are Ruth. Rolando, you are Kate. Okay. You are great shape, Kate. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I, I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometimes? Oh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, thank, thank you, you so Giselle. much. Thank you, Giselle. Thank you, Rolando. That was perfect. Thank you. So, uh, how good is Kate playing tennis? How good is him playing tennis? ¿Qué tan bueno es? Pretty good, okay, or not so good. ¿Puede Kate jugar tenis? Yes or not? We can read this in this part. It says, how well do you play tennis? Le pregunta Ruth. And he said, pretty well. Muy bien, I guess. Yo creo. And he took volunteer to practice a gray shape. What's mean? Gray shape means um, someone that looks good. Uh, someone muscular or someone who is fit. That is the meaning of gray shape. Alguien que está en forma. Tiene músculos. O está en forma. Is fit.
Any two volunteer to practice? The last two volunteer to practice in this small conversation, please. Me? Jacqueline. I have here Jacqueline and Yolanda. Jacqueline and Yolanda, can you help me, please? Okay. Uh, I am Ruth. You're in great shape, Kate. Thanks, I guess I am real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, right, but I am not very good. No problem, it'll guide you a few tips. Okay. Thank so you so much. That was almost perfect, thank you. That's in the last part, I'll give you. I'll give you a few tips. I'll give you. Thank you so much. So let's go over the next activity for tonight. And we are going to do How often do you exercise? I'm a real fitness I lift freak. Okay, how? Those are the four questions that we are studying tonight. How often, how long, how well, and how good? And here is an example. How often do you study English? It asks for frequency. Con que frecuencia? How often do you study English? How long is for duration? Cuánto tiempo usted gasta en una actividad? How long do you spend at work? Cuánto tiempo gasta o pasa en el trabajo? How well and how good are for performance? Qué tan bien, qué tan bueno es en alguna actividad? How well do you speak English? Ella. How good are you at speaking English? Now there is a difference. You say, how well do you speak English? And how good are you at speaking English? So let's see here. We are going to practice. Look at the first. Any volunteer to answer this question? How good are you at volleyball? How good are you? at volleyball. How good are you at volleyball? We are going to add the word you here. How good are you at volleyball? I am pretty well. Play volleyball. Above average. Average. Not so good. <laughs> Okay, you can use here the expression. ¿Cuál de estas podríamos utilizar para ellas? ¿Cuáles tres opciones podemos utilizar para responder esta pregunta? How good are you at volleyball? Not so good. Not so good is one. Not very well. Not very well. We can use pretty very good. good. Pretty really well. good, okay, or not so good. So how good are you at volleyball? Let's see, Rolando. How good are you at volleyball? About average. Okay, uh, Xiomara so Alejandra, how good are you at volleyball? Kenny, how good are you at volleyball? Not so good. Not so good. Yolanda, how good are you at volleyball? Okay. Okay, Jancy, how good are you at volleyball? Not very well. Not very well. Let's see the next question. How long do you spend online? How long do you spend online? So in this question, you have to tell time. How long do you spend online? Every day. Okay, every day. Twice a week. Twice a week, two veces por semana. Okay, look, in this question, we can use these three options. 30 minutes a day, about an hour on weekend. So you have to tell me time. 
Eh, ¿Cuántos minutos? ¿Cuántas horas? ¿verdad? Pa, eh, pasa en línea. How long do you spend online? En un día. Ya eso ese cálculo. ¿Cuánto tiempo pasa en línea? And you say 30 minutes, two hours, three hours, five hours, eight hours. How long do you spend online? Five hours. An hour, una hora? Not five hours. Five hours, okay. Five. Ruben, two hours. two hours. Ruben, how, how long do you spend online? <laughs> Perdón. How long do you spend online? ¿Cuánto tiempo pasa en línea? Watching TikToks, checking your Facebook, <laughs> eh, texting on WhatsApp, texting Ay, on Messenger. Se identificó con... <laughs> <laughs> Off the online. Okay. So, don't forget that you have to tell time in this. ¿Cuántos minutos? ¿Cuántas horas? How long do you spend online? Let's see the next example. How often do you play cards? How often do you play cards? Then to answer this question, we can use a time expression like every day, twice a week, not very often, or you can use a frequency adverse to answer this question. How often do you play cards? Not very often play cards, teacher. Okay, no very often. Thank you. Any other answer? How often do you play cards? Ya no juegan cartas? Uno. Ah, okay. Uno. Solitary. Solitary. Okay. <laughs> twice a week, teacher. Twice a week. I play cards twice a week. Thank you. I never play cards. I never play cards. I do not play cards. I don't play cards. I don't play cards. Any other answer? Let's see the next question. How well can you swim? How well can you swim? Again, I'm going to fix this mistake here. Pretty well. Second. How well can you swim? And N is missing. How well can you swim? Here we go. Then you can use this option pretty well, about average of not very well. Pretty well. Okay, pretty well. Okay, excellent. So what about Yolanda? How well can you swim? Very well. Okay, pretty well. Let's see, um, Graciela Alfaro, how well can you swim? I can swim. Oh, I can swim. So you can say, no, very well. No, very well. No, uh, very well. Jamilet Torres, how well can you swim? No, Jamilet. Manuel Romero, how well can you swim? Not so good. Okay, not so good. You say, no very well. Okay, como el teacher, ¿verdad? En un charquito, se ahogó. Ya no salió de ahí. It's important, right? Swimming, it's important. How well can you type? Look at this. How well can you type? Any volunteer to answer this question? ¿Qué tan rápido le escriben las cartas al cipote? How well can you type? How well can you type? You can use pretty well, about average, no very well. ¿Cómo le decían antes a los que escribían con un solo dedo en el teclado? ¿Se acuerdan? Capoyo. Capoyo. <laughs> That, that's the phrase, right? So how well can you type? Teacher, en el teclado no me abunda, pero viera en el WhatsApp. 
how well can you type? So any volunteer to answer this question? Pretty well. Thank you, Yancy. Pretty well. Muy buena para digitar. Uh, About average. I have a question. If the sentence complete is, I pretty well can you take, can you type? Um, I can type pretty well. So is it the finish? The, the last one, how well, better. how well can you type? So the short answer is this one, pretty well. Or about average of not very well. So if you want to answer with a long answer, you can say, I can type pretty well. Esa sería la respuesta larga. I can type pretty well. Okay, let's go with this speaking activity. Talking about duration. How long do you spend shopping? Cuando se va de compras, cuánto se tarda? How long do you spend shopping? So about, in, about three hours. Three hours. Or more. Or more. Okay, any other answer? How long do you spend shopping? Depend the shop, teacher. Depend, teacher. It depends. Depends on what? <laughs> Tell me. De que depende. If a clothes, the ropa. Okay, it's depending of the items that you are going that you are going to buy. Shoes, for in example. My, in my case, uh, the, 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 the time day. is short for. <laughs> no te creo, Kelly. <laughs> okay. For, te va a crecer la nariz. For shoes. <laughs> For shoes, it's short. It's short. Okay, no le alcanza el día. The ah, day pues isn't sorra, enough. So rara que te... <laughs> Let's see, Jancy, how long do you spend shopping? I don't go shopping. Is my mother. My mother uh, goes shopping. Ah, okay. To the supermarket, you say, or the market. Um, yes. How do, you, how do you say ambas? <laughs> oh, both, both activities. Both, both activities. Or both places. Okay, and when you need shoes, how long do you spend looking for a pair of shoes? How long do you spend? So it's easy, you say three hours, 30 minutes, 20 minutes. Let's see the next one. How long is this lesson? How long is this lesson? One hour. One hour, yes. You can say 60 minutes. How long do you spend reading? How long do you spend reading? One hour. Thank you, Graciela. One hour. Any other answer? How long do you spend reading? 30 minutes in, in every day. 30 minutes every day. Thank you. The last answer. How long do you spend reading? Two, two hours on weekends. Two, two hours on weekend. Perfect answer, thank you. Let's see the next question. How long do you sleep? How long do you sleep? Five hours. About six hours. Okay, about six hours. Any other answer? Five hours, hours every day. About four hours. About five hours. 
about five hours. Let's see if there's another one here. How long do you spend at work? ¿Cuánto tiempo pasa trabajando? How long do you spend at work? Seven hours. About eight hours. About eight hours. Any I answer? Don't work. Thank you, Jacqueline. Eight, I don't work. Eight hours every day. Eight hours every day. Thank you. Now I'm going to choose five some. Hours. Five hours. Okay, Yolanda, can you help me please? Choose one of your classmates. Escoja uno de sus compañeros. Uh -huh. Okay. And... Uh, uh, Alejandro Contreras. Okay, Alejandro, can you listen to us? Are you there? Um, how long do you spend reading? Alejandro Contreras. An hour. An hour, okay. Tres, tiene que ser tres de esas preguntas. Yolanda, please. Okay. Uh, how long do you spend shopping, Alejandro? Uh... Uh, 15 mi minutes. 15 minutes. Okay. Uh, how long do you spend at work? Uh, seven hours. Thank okay. you so much, Thank Ale. Thank you, Yolanda. Thank you. Now, Alejandro, just one of your classmates. Um, one hour. Okay, choose one. Escojo uno de sus compañeros, Alejandro. Choose one uh -huh. of your classmates, please. ¿A quién escoge? Eh, permítame, teacher, quiero ver. Permítame que no me carga la lista. Eh, Graciela Alfaro. Okay, can you please ask three questions to Graciela? Tres, tres preguntas, Alejandro, para Graciela, de las que están acá. Which one do you choose? Okay, how long do you sleep? Eight hours. Okay. Um, how long do you spend shopping? Mm, three hours. Okay, okay. Um, how long do you spend at work? Mm, two hours. Okay. Okay, very good. Thank you, Alejandro. Thank you, Graciela. Let's go with the next. So in the next, we are going to talk about performance. How good or how well? How well do you cook? Look at this question. How well do you cook? Yeah, let's see, Juan Francisco. How well do you cook? Um, I not cook. I don't cook. Yo no cocino. Okay. Let's see, Jancy Astrid, how well do you cook? Not so good. Not, not so very good. well. No, ah, not very eh. well. Not very well. And <laughs> Rolando, how well do you pretty, cook, Rolando? Pretty well. Pretty well. Kenny, how well do you cook? I'm average. Ah, okay. <laughs> Jacqueline, how well do you cook? Hello, Jacqueline, are you there? How well do you cook? Let's go with the next question then. Thank you so much for your answer. How good are you at climbing trees? How good are you at climbing trees? Any volunteer to answer this question? Not so good. 
Thank you, Yolanda. Not so good. Any other answer? Very good climbing trees. Okay, I'm very good climbing trees. Thank you. How well do you sing? How well do you sing? Not very well. Not very well. Thank you for your answer. Any other answer, please? Teacher, um, question. Yes, tell me, what is your question? ¿Qué significa la palabra climbings? En la segunda eh, de la activity. Escalando árboles. Ok, ¿qué tan bueno es escalando árboles? Climbing ah, okay. es escalar. Ah, ok, thank you. Thank you. Ok, Alejandro, and what's your answer? How good are you at climbing trees? Uh, I am no good. Ok, not so good. Not, not so good. good. Let's see the next one. How good do you dance? How good? Very well. Okay, I'm very well. And the next one. How well do you run? How well do you run? Any volunteer to answer this question? How well do you run? Not good. Not very well. Not very well. Okay. Okay, now we are going to work in groups, right? You are going to share with your classmates. We are going to go to the breakout rooms and you are going to ask these to your classmate. For example, how often do you play soccer? Then you are going to say, how long do you play soccer? And also, how well do you play soccer? Jancy, do you have a question? Teacher, ¿podría eh, regresar a la, a la anterior, por favor? Yes, please. Tell me, what is your question, please? Sorry. Gracias. Do you have a question in this part? Hello, Jancy. Está memorizando ahorita. Okay. <laughs> no, no, ya, ya, gracias. Thank you, teacher. Continue. Ah, okay. Ah, okay, okay. Let's go with this. Then we are going to go to the breakout rooms and you are going to share with your classmate. You are going to ask this. Let's see, for example, how often do you play soccer? Then how long do you play soccer? And how well do you play soccer? Acá está subrayada la actividad porque aquí la puede cambiar. ¿verdad? How often do you cook, for example? How often do you dance? And how long do you dance? ¿Cuánto tiempo baila? ¿verdad? Y how well do you dance? Que también baila. Y sus compañeros van a responder utilizando las expresiones que hemos aprendido el día de hoy. Por ejemplo, en la primera, how often do you play soccer? What is a good answer for this question? What is a good answer for this question? I never play soccer. Ah, ok, I never play soccer. En ese caso, hasta ahí llegaría, ¿verdad? Porque si dice I never play soccer, ya no podemos hacer las otras preguntas. Any other answer? How often do you play soccer? Sometimes I play soccer. Ok, sometimes I play soccer. So, how long do you play soccer? Twice a week. Algunas veces juega fútbol. Cuando juega, how long do you play soccer? One hour. One hour. How well do you play soccer? Ahora, que también juega fútbol. Very well. Very well. Ok. Pretty well. Pretty well. Veamos el siguiente ejemplo. How often do you ride a bike? 
Any volunteer to answer this question? How often do you ride a bike? Twice a week. Twice a week. And how long do you ride a bike? In mm, two, two kilometers? Two, two, uh, two kilometers. Two kilometers, but ¿cuánto tiempo se tarda en esos dos kilometers? Mm, 30 minutes. Okay, then the answer is 30 minutes. 30 minutes. How well do you ride a bike? Pretty well. Pretty well. Okay, nunca se ha caído. That's great. How good are you riding a bike? Or you can use this. How well do you ride a bike? Or how good are you riding a bike? Entonces, prepare dos actividades, por favor, para preguntarle a su compañero. How often do you, how long do you, and how well do you? I will give you one minute for you to get ready. Ya tiene sus dos actividades en las que le va a preguntar a sus compañeros. Let me know, please. You can use swim, dance, cook, play, basketball. Do you have a question about this activity? No questions, teacher. No questions. Okay, are you ready? Let me know, please, if you are ready. I am ready. I am all ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am always ready. Then let's go to the breakout rooms. Don't forget about the question, how often do you, how long do you, and how well do you, or how good are you at, so here we go. Let's see, tonight we are 15, so we are going to create three. Ok, um, comparte con sus compañeros, ¿verdad? Tomen turnos para hacerle las preguntas que hemos visto. Por favor, y practique con sus compañeros. Voy a visitar a algunos de ustedes en las salas. Here we go. Vamos a tener, let's see, six minutes, seis minutos para esta actividad. Here we go. Xiomara, do you have any problem to enter to the small groups? Hello, Xiomara. Do you have any problem to enter to the breakup rooms?
Hello, Yolanda. Did you finish with your group? Yolanda, Xiomara, do you have a problem to enter to the breakup rooms? Did you finish practicing? Hello, Manuel. Hello, Lorena, Rubén, Alejandro. Did you finish? Yes. Hello, teacher. Yes. Hello, teacher. Finish. Okay. Let's see, for example, how often do you cook? How often do you cook? Any volunteer to answer no. the question? I never cook. <laughs> oh, okay, I never cook. How often do you play soccer? I like cook twice a week, play soccer. Okay, twice a week. How long do you play soccer? One or two hours, depends. Okay, one to two hours, very good. And how well do you play soccer? Pretty well. Pretty well, okay, excellent. So let's go with another activity, swim. How often do you swim? How often do you swim? Con que I hardly ever. I hardly sometimes. ever swim. I sometimes swim. Uh, how long do you swim? Cuánto tiempo nadan? Cuando va a nadar? Teacher. Yes. Ten minutes. One hour. La cuesta. <laughs> Ten minutes. One hour. One hour. Okay, now let's see. How good are you at swimming? How I good? Don't... How good are you at swimming? Teacher. Yes. Una question. Tell me, what is your question, Ruben? Um, tengo una duda de cerca de la pregunta en... Cuando se pone well um, and go good. Ah, okay. Cuando utilizamos well, we are going to use this. Let's see. It's like how well, how well, how well. Entonces utilizamos do you? How well do you? It's clean. Swim, for example, how well do you swim? In la otra opción sería how good. Are you? Are you? Y ponemos la preposición at. Y agregamos con ing. How good are you at swimming? Swim. Swimming. Okay. Ah, que tan bueno eres para nadar y el otro es que tan bueno eres nadando, ¿no? Ambas significan lo mismo, es solo lo mismo. que la estructura es diferente. How well uh, do you swim? And how good are you at swimming? Ok. Thanks. Ok. Solo es estructura, teacher. No hay es, diferencia en, la, en es, lo que preguntamos. El significado es lo mismo, que tan bien nadas. Bueno, o que tan bueno eres nadando. ¿Cuándo se utiliza la diferencia en la estructura, teacher? Cuando utilizamos how well y cuando utilizamos how good. Ah, okay. How okay. well do you and how sí. good are you at? Okay, los veo en la sala con todos. Okay. 
Hello, Yolanda. Hello, Manuel. Hello, Ruben. Rosa, Suleima, Stephanie. Welcome again. And how was your practice? Did you finish? Did you finish practicing with your classmate? Yes, teacher. Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Do you have any question about tonight's class? We study four questions. How often? How long do you? How well do you? And how good are you at? Do you have any question? No, teacher. No question, teacher. No, no question. No questions? Okay, that's perfect. Uh, please don't forget to start working on the platform exercise. It's really important that you start completing those exercises. So if you have any free time, please try to work on the platform. It's really important that you start working on that. Don't forget about the platform exercises. I will pass a copy después. <laughs> <laughs> I can't even put a copy. Don't forget that you have until Friday at midnight to complete the section one and section two. Esta semana tenemos que completar la sección uno y sección dos, ¿verdad? Sección one right. and section two. So keep working on that, please. Uh, thank you for being here with me tonight. I really appreciate your participation. Thank you so much. Uh, see you tomorrow at 9 o'clock p.m. Good night. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye.